Hi there. You're here because you want to find out how to take a PDF document and turn it into a slides presentation, either in a PowerPoint format or Google Slides, or maybe both. There are lots of reasons why you might want to do this. Everything from being able to click and advance each page of a PDF as a new slide, or and what I love, and I will show you later in this video, is how to make a title slide where you have clickable links that will take you to different parts of the document, which in this case would be different slides in the presentation. So although there are a few different ways of converting a PDF to a slides presentation, I want to show you one of the most popular and really one of the easiest, and that is to use smallpdf.com. Here I am at smallpdf.com on the homepage, and I want to explore all PDF tools. I see that there is a long list of conversion types, but the one I'm looking for is PDF to PPT. That is a PDF document to a PowerPoint presentation. Once I click it, I have the ability now to choose which file I want to convert. And you can either bring them in from your device or small PDF if you have a pro account, or even cloud storage such as Dropbox or Google Drive. For now, since I have the document saved on my device, I'm gonna choose the device. Once I click open, that begins the uploading and conversion process. Okay, so in full transparency, that whole process of uploading and converting, for me in this case, took about two minutes. It'll depend, of course, on the size of your PDF document, but I think having to wait just a minute or two is really not that big a deal. Again, I'm still in smallpdf.com and my PDF document has been uploaded and converted. And so now I want to download. And again, you have some different options to download to the same places that you could upload from the device, small PDF if you have a pro plan or cloud storage like Dropbox and Google Drive. Once again, I'm going to choose for now to save this to my device. What you'll notice is that as you go to save it to your desktop, the file name has now changed from just k underscore unit 5.pdf to now the same thing, but it says converted. Now, even though I did choose to download the converted file to my desktop, I did end up putting it in Google Drive. And I want to show you what happens when you do that. It comes in as a PowerPoint file, which means that you can open it and edit it in Google Drive and in Google Slides. And you'll see as the .pptx or Microsoft PowerPoint format is highlighted up here, that means even though it's in a PowerPoint file format, it is editable in Google Slides. However, you might want to get this completely into a Google Slides format. In order to do that, click File and then Save as Google Slides. Now, the presentation that was converted first from being a PDF document has been turned into an entirely Google Slide formatted presentation. And you could stop here. Maybe this is all you need to do, which is to get a PDF document into a Google Slides format. However, I do want to show you how if you have a long PDF file or if you just have a need to be able to do this, how you can create clickable links that will take you to different parts of the document, which is now part of the presentation. So you can see I'm still in my Google Slides presentation, and this again is from the PDF document that's been converted, and I want to add a new slide. 
I'm going to add a blank slide. And what I choose to do is to insert a table. In this case, I'll make a table of five columns and we'll do five rows as well. I'm just going to stretch it out to make it a little bit bigger on the page. And let me just go through my presentation real quick to see where I want to start. I notice here that we are on unit five, lesson 21, day one. So lesson 21, day one, and that starts on slide eight. So if I come up to the table that I created, I'm gonna write lesson 21, day one. And then I'm going to come back to slide eight, copy the link in the address bar. And now when I have lesson 21, day one in my table, I can click the insert link button and then paste the address to that slide. And now you'll notice that lesson 21 day one becomes a clickable link. And when I click on it, I have the ability then to go right to slide eight. So if I'm on lesson 21 day one in that unit, I click slide eight and I am taken directly to that slide and that part of the presentation. If you want to format your table a little bit better, I like to have the clickable links show up as text that's centered both vertically and horizontally. And sometimes I like to make it bold and even change the color of the lettering as well. In this case, maybe I'll make it bright blue. And then that way, every time you type in any of these boxes, it will still maintain the same formatting. Let's go ahead and try again. This time I will go down to the slide in my presentation that is gonna be for lesson 21, but day two, because that's where in my table, I want to make the next clickable link. If I'm a teacher and I'm now on day two of this lesson 21, I wanna be able to get there quickly and easily. So I notice that it starts on slide 20. And again, I'm gonna copy the address for that slide go back up to my table where I've now put lesson 21 day two, insert a link, paste the address, and then once I hit apply, now it becomes that clickable link that'll take me right to slide 20. All right, there you go. I now went ahead and I filled in the rest of the table with 
each lesson, each day, and of course, the clickable link that will take you to that part of the slides presentation. So that is the process for taking a PDF document, converting it to a slides presentation. And if you're asking why the extra step to create the table of clickable links, well, I don't know if you noticed, but the PDF document was well over 300 pages. As a matter of fact, when I opened it in the slides presentation, I noticed it was 319 slides worth of a presentation. And so if you're a teacher presenting information during a lesson, or if you're in a meeting or a any kind of presentation, it's gonna be very difficult for you to scroll through 300 plus slides or pages to find exactly what you're looking for. So what better way than to create those links and you know that once you're in that table slide, you can just easily and quickly jump to whatever information you're looking to present. I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Keep coming back for more tech tools and tips.